Hi there, my name is Abu and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how to work with the data attribute in Tailwind CSS. So I have a simple project that I've built right here. It's just one component and the other component is the one for the decision. So I'm thinking about traffic lights and if you have to make a decision whether you have to stop, get ready or go. And I want to change the style of how I render this component to the user. So how am I going to do that? I can use the data attribute in Tailwind CSS. So now I want to change the style of this component. As it stands right now, it's only displaying red for all the components. In my decision component, I can work with the data. And remember, this is from the parent component. I can work with the data attribute, but you can give it a name that you want. So in this case, I'm just going to call it the status. I mean, what is the status of the light, the traffic light? So in the first case, it can be red or orange or green. So this data, I'm going to take it from the props and I'll bring it from props.status. Now, when I come back to my app.js, where I'm calling this component, I need to pass a prop called status. And on the first one, I'm going to give this stop, and I'll just copy paste this two times in this other components, and rename this to ready, and I will paste it also down here, and rename this to go. I want to change this component according to the status that I get from the component when it's being rendered and that i'm picking it over here so how do we actually use the data attribute in Tailwind css let's give it a go so over here i want to call the data attribute but this data attribute we're going to give it a hyphen and then in square brackets is where as you can see the intelligence is already picking this up when i click on this it should initialize it for me so this is how you work with the data attribute now what data am i targeting exactly and the data that I'm targeting is the status over here. Remember, the status over here is something that you name yourself. It can be size, it can be decision, it can be anything you want. So I'm getting the status. So over here, I want to check for status. What is the value in the status? So the value in the status for the first one is stop. So when I save this, hopefully all works just fine. I should only have a red background on the first one. So save it. And as there you go, as you can see, I only have the red background in the first one because now it's injecting this trial of background of red only to the first one because its status over here is stop. So it's checking for that status. So when the status is stop, give it a red background over here, as you can see. When I change this to go, it should only put it on the go down over here. But now we want to make this green other than having it red. Let's try to make the go to be green. I'll just put this back and then it will go to stop up here. So how am I going to do for the rest of these others? Remember, I have three attributes that I'm passing. So I'll just copy this again two more times and one more time. And I'll just change this second one here to ready. And ready, instead of red, I'll just change this to orange. And on the last one, I'll change this to go. And I'll just change this to green. And if everything is working fine, I should have those different colors on the different status of the traffic lights as you can see so the next thing we want to do is also change the style of the words i mean you'd think right now i could just say here data and then the same thing and then i say status equals to stop will it change no it's going to change and something weird has just happened all the text has gone back to its default colors what's going on here now if you're working with the child component we have to group the parent component because as it sounds right now it's not picking this decision here because this decision only works with the parent that's why we have we have the group class we need to add to the parent so we add the group class to the parent now it's going to group this all this now after applying the group class to the parent now i'm just going to come down here and just add it before the data i'll just add the word group and this should work and as you can see the stop is now red and again, now what I can do, I'll just copy this two more times. And now all I'm going to do, I'm going to change this to ready. And on ready, I'll just change this to orange. And on go, I'll change this to listen to go. And I'll change this to green 800. And if all is working correctly, this should work just fine. And as you can see, everything is now picking according to the data that we are sending from this component over here. And I'm listening to that specific data in my component over here before rendering it to the user. 
So that is how you use the data attribute in Tailwind CSS. So hopefully you can learn something from here or you can use it in your next project and I'll see you in the next video. Stay hungry and stay foolish.